Yeah, so another area of concern about these vaccines is that they were um, developed very rapidly and that uh, th there's a supposition, I think, that they might not have been subject to the same level of FDA or regulatory scrutiny um, that other historical vaccines um, have been subjected to. And I think the answer to this one is actually quite clear. They were developed very rapidly because of how dire this public health crisis is. Um, it couldn't have happened without the collaboration between the medical research community, pharmaceutical companies, and the government. Um, but thankfully, those three things did work together uh, brilliantly to develop multiple vaccines in a very short period of time that were tremendously effective. So how did they do it faster than previous? Um, they really took what would normally be a sequential vaccine development, where you would do early trials and then later trials and then eventually pursue um, FDA approval, and they did everything in parallel. And that required a great deal more resource than would conventionally be used for vaccine development, but it was successful. So having spent a lot of time with this literature, I don't feel like any shortcuts were taken in the development of these medications. I feel like they are absolutely as safe as anything else we offer. And if people are fearful about um, side effects, I think it's important to explain what kinds of side effects are expected from vaccines. Um, we know that there are short-term um, medication administration reactions that occur, and that's the huge majority of vaccine side effects. That's actually why any recipient of this vaccine is observed for a period of time, to ensure that that doesn't happen, or if it does happen, that we can treat it. And that's proven to work very well. We also then do large vaccine monitoring and medication safety studies, where we look for rarer events that might occur in the medium term. These are things like blood clotting, which we have identified as being a risk from some of these vaccines. But when we look at these numbers across every different potential recipient group, every age group, every demographic, um, the benefit still vastly outweighs the risk. And the final thing is, I think people are sometimes concerned about potential longer term side effects, right? Things that we might not learn about for you know, months or years from now. And there's nothing about the chemical makeup of these vaccines that would indicate that that is even really a practical risk. So even though two of the three available vaccines use new technology, um, the so-called mRNA signal, right? It's a chemical signal that has your body then code for the antibody that protects you against the infection. It's relatively new technology, though it has been used for multiple other vaccines that are currently in use. Really, the immune response from any of these vaccines is the same. They all stimulate your body to make antibodies that are targeted against the virus of concern. So at this point, I think um, there is no significant risk of longer term, you know, unobserved side effects. And there's lots of data demonstrating that by getting the vaccine, you're protecting yourself and the people around you.